While uh. Ivan III consolidated Moscow's power, the Golden Horde was succumbing to discord. Hello, welcome back to AOE4. This weakness, Ivan withheld tribute, equipped his men with firearms, and marched to meet the army of the Khan. On the banks of the Ugra River, the Rus stood defiant. Yeah, we did. to contest over 200 years of Mongol dominance. Damn right we do. So, uh, yeah, as I said, hello, welcome to Age of Empires 4. We're going to be doing some more uh, campaign missioning. Uh, we're going to be doing the Great Stand on the Ugra River. As the Mongol army once again marched to punish Moscow, Ivan III chose a position to make a stand against the weakening power of the Horde. He would hold the line at the Ugra River. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube later, we have already tried this mission and we failed. So I do know that there is uh, sort of some things that are coming. Maybe we've got some better strategies this time out. Um, but yeah, it should be it should be okay. Should be able to uh, nail it this time. Um, we'll see. Gameplay tip: Make sure you've got a good economic base. Thanks, Age of Empires. I would not have guessed that. It's like top tip: get good. Basically. Quicker stone walls should do the trick. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Stone walls, because I didn't know, like the Rus can't build stone walls in in the single player. That's literally their 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 thing. They don't do stone walls. The shadow of Mongol rule had darkened the Rus lands for more than two centuries. But now. Ivan III stood on the banks of the Ugra River, ready to cast off the shackles of the Golden Horde. But if he failed, Moscow itself could fall. Yes, indeed. So I want... A couple of these, please. You guys go there. You guys go there. Stones going. So we know there's going to be something coming up down there. You go and explore my side. Uh, where is my thingy here? So, uh, you. Stone wall. From there to there. Give me another guy, please. All oh, right, we've got these ones. After you come back, what we need is more on food. Just putting the ability, uh, like, starting this gives us a, a way to get my guys up on the walls as well. Which is quite lovely. The same here. I get these guys up on the walls and the Streltsy up on the walls. Right, we're gonna need some more on gold. Have I got anywhere better for gold? I've got it there. That's still got plenty. You get on gold. Where is my oh great, I've got a Do I have a marketplace? I don't believe I 
do you build marketplace all the way up into this top corner? Where is the other one here? Okay, we only had two there. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we're gonna need a stone wall. Because we know there's an enemy coming along this road. We could... Let's just palisade for now. That. And that is kind of cheese, because we personally don't know this, but we know that the AI does it, so whatever. You've finished that, I want another one of those. And then build that one. And then these people I want. Another a few of those. Mordred, thank you very much for that fat raid. Thank you so much, man. Uh, hello, I'm playing some Age of Empires 4. We're doing the Mongol, not Mongol, the Rus campaign. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to hold off the Rus. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, sorry, hold off the Mongols. The Mongols are attacking us, they're assholes. Um, we're going to try and hold them off. So, yeah, this thing is going to go down to there, five traders are going to be good, you are going to go on gold, you know what, I want some more on wood. You can build a wood camp, maybe there. Is there nothing else to explore up here? Yeah, it's just a massive forest. Um, you, I don't know what to do over here. I'd like a keep, but we don't have nearly enough stone for that. Um, maybe... Just wall that up as well. So, these are all going to be two, and they're going to build that. You want to build another couple there. And I need, yeah, I need way more on wood. So, yeah, uh, hello, Modred's people. We're, uh, we're we're trying to fend off the Rus. This is the Battle of the Ugra River, which is a battle from history, um, where Ivan the Third is uh, doing mad work. He's just he's just defending Rus people, just like like a madman. He's a great guy. No one's ever complained about him, I think. So we need a good economy. We need a. Uh, oh, wait. Two all need to go up on there. What we need is the arse. Oh, we do have a market. Yeah, but it's miles away from where I need it to be. And then these markets are all going to be control group three. They're all going to be up on the walls as well. We need to prepare for the Mongols. They're going to do an attack. Reports quickly arrived of a Mongol detachment. We do have an arsenal. We need that. 450 gold. We have only five on gold right now. Oh, you've really you've really done that, have you? You absolute special case people. You know what? Just delete our section and then get through and then rebuild the section. Special cases. So yeah, they're attacking us at the South Ford. Uh, getting getting this incendiary arrows is going to be actually really important. So you're going to be on control group 4. And I can sell maybe some food until I have enough incendiary arrows. 
Let's put all of you up on the walls as well, because you can throw torches down. Right, good job, you people. Build me some houses. You two are going to... We're good on food, I think. I think just... Get your bums on that there. Unless, actually, build me a, a, a cathedral monastery thing on my bob. They're still not attacking me yet. Only a matter of time, though. It's only a small little raid, but... Small little raids can still hurt. Alright, you can start killing some sheep so we can get some bounty. Uh, don't I have another scout somewhere? No idea. He's probably somewhere. There he is. So the bounty system, if I get 100 gold from bounties, um, my villagers get f uh, food 5% faster. And then more, and then more, and then more, and more. had allied with the Lithuanian king, who had promised to send great numbers to assist the Khan at Ugra. As the horde waited, they would continue to probe the Rus encampment. Where's that scout gone? Did I have two scouts around here somewhere? Where's the second scout? I have no idea. Got me a keep over there. Arsenale is going to make my arrows better. I want to at least get to 200. We're so much slower when we've got the the things on our backs as well. Hopefully that's going to work. You are going to... Do -do 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 I don't know. Build that there. I'd like to upgrade you with a springold. Oh, nice! <laughs> Managed to repel the vanguard! Things you love to see. ...held the initial attacks, and the Mongols fell back to their side of the river. Damn right they did. To hold the Ugra, Ivan would need to maintain a strong show of force at the river crossings. So I need to get if these he good. The weakness, the horde would seize on it and swarm across the river, then on towards Moscow. As soon as we have sixteen hundred food, we can go into the next era. The Spaskia Tower is gonna to be useful. All right, drop this food. I said drop the food. I said drop the food, thank you. All right. Uh, right, what else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, probably... Let's get one more house, actually, there. And then you're going to go on stone for me. So we've got superiority right now. How long that's going to last, who knows. Right now it's looking good. 275. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to 300. Without killing a boar. Is there a boar around?
I got 17 on gold. I don't think that's necessary. So I'm building this wooden fortress here because it increases the amount of uh, wood. Every time they return wood to a lumber camp, it gives it a bit extra, which is kind of nice. Alright. Uh, my thing here. I'm gonna get a warrior monk. While the Mongols awaited their Lithuanian allies, they continued to send raiding parties across the river, hoping to weaken Ivan's forces. Die, you bastard. So we're 320. I don't know if we're going to be able to get uh, all of the hunt. Let's upgrade you with... Uh... Wait a minute. Is it one or the other on these? It might be one or the other. Yeah, because you don't have it anymore. So I guess we'll wait until the next age and we'll put a cannon up there, maybe? You're finished. That was stone. I do want you to do stone again. Uh, the only stone I know of is right down there, though. Let's get, like, that many of you to go do some wood up here, though. You go get the relic. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. There we go. Alright, things are going really swimmingly. You go capture a sacred site. You go get more food and drop it off. You guys go and get that food. Yeah, gold's looking good, so I don't think... As soon as this is gone, I don't think I'll move more people to gold. Uh, you, I'm thinking... Oh man, I can't put a keep too close there. It's unfortunate. What we'll do is... Spaskia Tower. You want to build me one of those. Pretty sure the horse archers want to be uh, all the way over here, because we know the Lithuanians are on their way. You want to drop off there. So you've taken that. I know there's another relic up in the north there. Pick that up. Drop that there. Yeah, once that, uh, the wall things, the, the, the battering ram is down, then we're good. We don't need to worry. It's the battering ram that's like the big problem one. You go to the next stage with that. More on food might be a good idea. You've picked up the relic. Pop it in the... That. Got another relic there. Um, you do me a favor and build a gate.
We'll work on these scouty people again. Keep picking up food and dropping it at the hunting cabin. I wish this could be automated. That would be real nice. South Ford still pretty weak in comparison. Let's put more of them over. You drop, pick up another one. There's a boar there, actually. Uh, tell you what. You guys, come over here, kill the boar. Horse archers should do... Oh, there's a... Yeah. You can drop that off. You go pick up the boar. These boars are worth more meat, and you harvest meat from them so much faster. You go back on the stone. We can now build a university. I think you guys can... Now we'll pop a university up here somewhere. The gold people can do it. I need chemistry. I suppose that's not in here, is it? Reload speed of crossbone is good. Boiling oil is good. Archers range is good. Go back on gold. Chemistry. Now we can do gunpowder. Uh, you people are going to. I need. F I need more food. So what we can do is get you all to start doing that. You go and grab that relic. Where's the other scout? There you are. Oh man. Hunting with army units is heresy. It is, but it doesn't matter. In, in Age of Empires 4, that does not make a difference. Uh, gold people are finished. Where do we go? There's another gold here. You've got that. Go pop it back in there. We're at 420. We're really close, actually. Uh, upgrade the horse archers. Upgrade both of those. I want ranger units damage up. The Mongols called in their own reinforcements Fuck. to bolster their numbers on the fords. If Ivan's forces could intercept and eliminate the detachment, the Rus would face less resistance on the fords. Oh, 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 don't, don't want me that, don't want that. Oh my god, James, thank you very much for the raid, man. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to need some uh, melee units to deal with that, I think. Maybe some actual horsemen would have been a good idea. They're still taking more damage than they're uh, than they're doing, so that's good. Um, where are my scouts again? Give me the bloody scout. Drop more. They still can't get through because of this. I want to kill this first. Easy job, easy job. Alright, you finished the stone again. Not great. Didn't I build two monks? Where's the second? There you go. Go grab the relic that your friend dropped. Like this, this is going to be easy to clean up. 
You finished that gold, I want to say. Another attack in the north. Easily repel. I mean, it's it's all about the stone walls. Reduce cost of musketeers. Yes, please. I right, I'll wait until that tech comes in. Actually. Ivan's men cut down the Mongol reinforcements, ensuring they could not bolster the enemy's numbers on the fords. Good shit. It's mad that we're, like, this badly done by. We've got 126 military split between the two fords. Like, how am I supposed to get any better than that? Another attack in the north. They're just not able to do anything. We have not maintained superiority, but I still don't think they're going to be doing much when they inevitably come up here. You can get a cannon. Did you get a cannon yet? No, you can get a cannon. When they roll up with trebuchets, that's when I need to worry. Like, they're just not getting anywhere with what they're bringing over at the moment. But anyway, you have, uh... Now able to do that. You are now able to do that. Attack in the south doing nothing. These horsemen... Actually, you know what? You jump out as well. I don't want any of these anymore. Uh, if you are still creating horsemen, please cease. You get a cannon. I don't know if that's going to be needed. You could probably do with it. You're both on food. Did you come on for over here? I don't know. Oh, you came from the farms. Right, right, right. Oh, there's a bloody animal right there. There's like a boar there, which we need to kill. We got some there. At this point, I don't know how... Like, there's no way that I can get this any higher. Apparently, I just needed to make it not be completely red, perhaps? Ivan's loose army stood strong at the Ugra crossings and would not allow the horde to advance towards Moscow. Oh god, are they coming here now? The Lithuanian numbers that had been promised to the horde had not arrived. The Khan was forced to order a retreat. Ivan ordered his men to burn what remained of the Mongol camp and drive the enemy out of Muscovite territory. Is that a new mission for me? A new objective? Destroy the Mongol town center. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we're going to need a, um, a, a villager. Give me a stonewall gate there. I don't need that one. Do 
Do I not have a siege workshop? Hey you, siege workshop me, baby. Go back to your farms. Oh yeah, they're not attacking me anymore. We'll see what happens now. The storm walls are huge compared to the building the people. The portions are just off. Did I get a second monk and secure the relic? I uh, believe I did. Yes, I did. Where did I get this? You go and grab that piece of meat. Oh yeah, that, that's what I want. Just heal everybody. We could get the scout to go and actually scout their base as well. Might be a good idea. Didn't I get a villager to come repair this? That might be a good idea. I don't know if they're going to attack me though, if that's the issue, right? They might, they might not. All of you are going to move over here. Guys, uh, gonna need a little bit of updating. But yeah, it is time to attack them with the entire force of my army. It's interesting. Like, I don't know what this is for, other than the Lithuanians that were coming this way. We want Ivan the Terrible to come with us as well. I don't know. Is Ivan the Third Ivan the Terrible? I actually have no idea. There isn't actually anything else for us to mine. Oh, I suppose he could mine this gold. Oh, a cannon would have been nice, actually. How much are these cannons? They're three population. I want a cannon. It's Ivan the Fourth is Ivan the Terrible. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, honestly, the big difference here is these stone towers. These stone towers are so useful. Kill that ball if you can. Actually, can you all just like shoot that ball? Drop the ball over there. I did see another ball hanging around somewhere. We can go grab that one. Are we good to go? We're mostly good. I, I do kind of want them to heal up though. Where's Ivan? Ivan has a pro Oh shit, I probably could have used that. <laughs> I probably could have used that special ability. I know it's just gonna be a, a march south. We know they had a lot of troops here and they all they pulled them all back. So chances are we're gonna face very stiff resistance. Oh, my God. 
The front line is there literally just to protect the range. Oh my god! Oh my god! I still think we got a chance. The reason I'm not moving anyone as well is because Streltsy, or the the handgunners, they start firing faster the longer they remain stationary. I think we got this. I don't hear any gunshots anymore. The Streltsy are all dead. Oh. Go crossbowman, you're the, like the counter to heavy archer, uh, heavy cavalry. You actually did really good. Man's gotta love himself some, uh, some crossbowmen, elite crossbowmen. They are apparently really, really good. Hey, good job you, gold. We destroyed the Mongol encampment. Kill the sheep, kill the sheep. No, oh, damn it. That was a lot of them. Pretty sure I killed all of those people. Get out of here, motherfuckers. Oh, and we now have three cannons. Hell yeah. Get out of here, bitches. Victory! The Battle of the Ugra River is a victory. Uh, yay. So, uh, we've got a video. We'll watch this and then we'll end out this, this video. Again, just for YouTube. Long, harsh winters to Mongol invasions, life for Muscovite peasants was tough. But they had one crop that was vital to their survival. Rye. Moscow peasants relied on cereal crops more than any other food. To separate the grain from the straw, cereals had to be threshed with a flail. This tool could also be repurposed for battle. When the Grand Prince called upon peasants to serve in the army, they would have become armed with their tools of the trade, their pitchforks and their pikes, but chief amongst their weapons would be the flail. Farming crops in a land that was covered in snow <laughs> he for doesn't, does he? a year was challenging. But rye was one crop that was particularly adapted to the extreme Moscow climate. And it could make vodka. Wait, vodka isn't in vodka rye, potatoes. Incredibly hardy. If you can sow it in autumn, it'll grow through the winter months, even with a covering of snow on the ground. Now, Russia is famous for its long, cold winters, but it also gets very hot and dry summers, and it's in those drought conditions that rye also thrives. And it's for that reason that a majority of Moscow peasants were growing this stuff. But they didn't get to keep all of their crop. The largest rye grains were given to the Grand Princes as tax while the rest would be used to make bread or malted to make a nourishing non-alcoholic drink <laughs> not good enough it's super easy to make and, yeah. and, and cheap really cheap it's great for helping tired muscles recover and it's just quite refreshing and also helps control infections muscovite soldiers drank kvass as part of their daily rations it's made by first adding ground malted rye to boiling water. After cooling, yeast culture is added, causing the mixture to ferment. It's not alcoholic though. This kills off any germs in the water. I would imagine so with the boiling. There you go. Around three days later, the kvass is ready to drink. The bubbles are really starting to come up now. Yeah. It's just the yeast doing its work. It's probably um, the the worst orange juice you've ever had. 
qualities of this drink then? <laughs> the taste. Probiotic drink. It has a lot of B vitamins and it has... In like Russia you make vodka from birch trees? I did not know that. Hard labor. It's, it's kind of an ideal sports drink, really. And with rye so easy to grow, you can see... <laughs> Russian Gatorade. <laughs> ...savior, if you like, of the, uh, of the Moscow peasantry. The hardiness and versatility of rye was a lifesaver to Muscovites, both for peasants at home and soldiers on campaign. I really like those little videos. They're actually really hand like they, they've got some good educational content in there. It's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that was pretty dope. So the Ugra River has been uh, defended. We've sent the Mongols packing. Maybe once and for all. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but yeah, for the people on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the this next episode in the series of defending Russia from Mongols. Um, and uh, yeah, bye.